I will also restore peace through strength, and I will prevent World War III from happening. We will stop it. You know, when crooked Hillary Clinton was running against me, she said, look at him, listen to him. He will start a war, a world war. We had no wars other than I defeated ISIS in its entirety, 100 percent of the ISIS caliber. Listen to his rhetoric. Listen to his horrible tone. I said, that horrible tone is going to keep people from fighting us. And that's what happened. We had no wars. It's been 81 years since that happened for a president. No wars other than ending some wars that we we're in and defeating ISIS. Two days ago, I watched a parade of the Taliban in Afghanistan. Did you see it? The Taliban where they were showing all of our equipment that they took from America. $85 billion worth. Two days ago, celebrating three years of the defeat of America by these guys. And I knew him very well. Abdul was the head. Abdul was not playing games with me. We had, uh, you know, they were executing a lot of our soldiers. And I spoke to him. I said, Abdul, don't do it anymore. There'll be no more. Anyway, I said, it's pretty tough. And you know what? For 18 months, we didn't have one American soldier killed in Afghanistan. And then I left. And then I left. And this bunch of incompetent people took over, and it all started up again. And then they had the most embarrassing day in the history of our country, I thought. But she bragged about being the last person in the room that night, the night that they decided to do whatever they decided to do. In other words, she had the final vote, and she bragged about it. It's been the most embarrassing moment in the history, history of our country, Afghanistan. It, could have, it should have never, ever happened. We should have gotten out with dignity and strength. And you don't take your military out first. You take your military out last. They couldn't believe we did it. Under Trump, we will have no more wars, no more disruptions, and we will have prosperity and peace for all. And again, we're going to bring back that American dream for all of the young people in this audience and some of the old ones. This is how we will end the era of inflation, mayhem, and misery under Kamala and crooked Joe Biden and unleash safety, prosperity, and promise for Americans of every race, religion, color, and creed. Every single one of them are going to understand peace and wealth. And you're going to be a dominant — we're going to be a dominant force again. We're going to be respected as a country again. Right now, we're being laughed at. Together, we will deliver low taxes, low regulations, low energy costs, low interest rates, low inflation. We had almost no inflation during my four years, almost nothing. And they went up to 9.5 percent. And that number is a fake number because they don't add the worst categories. It was much higher than that. But it was record-setting inflation that everyone can we're going to make sure, afford your groceries, afford a car, afford a home, low interest rates. We're going to get it all down. We will stop the invasion. We will end migrant crime. We will support our great police. We will strengthen our military, build a missile defense shield over the top of our country, an Iron Dome. It'll be a great Iron Dome, and much of it will be made right here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Why shouldn't we have that? Why shouldn't we have that? Other countries can have it, but we can't. It was our idea. It was our con — you know, Ronald Reagan wanted it many years ago. But then, in all fairness, you didn't have the technology. Today, you do. We're going to have an Iron Dome to protect us from the lunatics out there.